In questo anno di elezioni Euronews sta preparando una grande avventura. Diamo voce ai cittadini europei. Viviamo 24 ore al giorno con le famiglie. Portiamo le nostre telecamere in tutta Europa. Per condividere le vostre opinioni su ciò che funziona e cosa non funziona nell'Unione Europea. Ascoltando le vostre storie, le speranze, le paure per il futuro. Diamo voce ai cittadini europei in European Sleepovers su Euronews. So for today's sleepover we're in Lithuania and I've come to meet Dalia Smithiene, who's a teacher. Dalia! <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm Stuart. It's nice to meet Dalia, you. Nice How are to you? Meet you? You have a nice amount of land here. Actually, I live in the city and I come here uh, every two weeks for, okay. for weekend. And is it because of work that you've moved to the city or would you want to be in the city? Uh, because of um, the life was uh, quite uh, boring here. Uh, do you want to work? Of course. Yeah, we are strongly touched by emigration. Oh, really? This is a problem here in um, rural, uh, rural places in Lithuania. Oh, really? A lot of families live separately. A lot of women live alone. Mm -hmm. And uh, husbands are in uh, abroad. Are you filming? No. Oh, I'm good. The sun is setting over the hill and I'm on my way to Klaipedia now with Dahlia and we're going to spend the rest of our 24 hours there because that's where she works. Here I come with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so they will participate in the, the TV show. Yeah. So you're smart. <laughs> well that just means we have to do an EU quiz with you guys then. Here's a challenge. How many countries are there in the EU? 27. Plus United Kingdom. The United Kingdom? The number 28? 28, well done. How many people live in the EU in total? About 500 million. <sighs> Give me <Very> five. <laughs> Where's the furthest northerly point to the European Union? Denmark. Because the Greenland is part of Denmark. No, it's Finland. Mm. Sorry, not Greenland because it's an overseas territory. I have to check that. I have to look oh, that up. Sure. Bye, Dahlia. It's time for bed, I think. Me too. Good night. Oh, good night. It's been a great day. I've travelled right away across Lithuania, seen so much of the countryside. It's a beautiful place, and Dahlia has been amazingly welcoming so far. So we'll see how tomorrow goes. I hope I sleep okay. Look at this terrifying pillow. It's a cat, apparently. Good morning. We're out in the sunshine already. We're off into the centre of the city where Dahlia's got some students. She's going to teach English today, so I'm going to try and help her. So why are you learning English now? My daughter, he has a boyfriend. It is Germany, mm -hmm. and it means that I have... <laughs> to be fluent in English, and I, I start to continue oh, to learn so you again. can communicate with her boyfriend? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Will you vote in the elections? Yes, of course. Of course. <laughs> no, it no. doesn't matter, uh, I think. It doesn't matter to you? For me, yeah. yeah. Now we will take a rest, enjoy the sun and the seaside. Quick, quick, it's leaving! <laughs> Dalia, this is beautiful. Yeah, enjoy it. It's for free. <laughs> you said a lot of your friends and um, family have moved abroad for better money. How does your wage compare with them? Are you tempted to do the same? Uh, my husband also moved to another country to work, but I'm not planning to do this. I believe if I was born here, maybe I have to do something to be here. That's amazing. <laughs> That's you are true. right, uh, you know, you are amazing. right. <laughs> Look at the sand. <gasps> what could the EU do for you? I could say if um, 
they passed uh, they would pass the law to travel as a as an obligatory duty for us to learn all the countries of the Europe all the cultures that would be awesome <laughs> Well, that's the end of my time in Lithuania. Dalia really welcomed me into her family. She took me to the countryside and into the city. For her, you can certainly see the benefits of the EU in terms of free movement. But she also showed me the negative aspects that the workforce leaving a country like this for better money and a better life elsewhere can have on the rural population. <laughs>